Bowman here from BW1, and in this video, I want to give you an unboxing, setup, and first impressions look at the Amazon Fire TV Gaming Edition. This is the latest Fire TV, well, guess we'll call it the 2015 edition, and I want to sort of go through the unboxing, setup, and first impressions, of course. This is going to be a pretty cool device here, and I like the fact that they have like sort of a gaming specific one. All right, so let's go ahead and begin the unboxing here. Let's see if we can just peel that little sticker tape off there at the top. Should be pretty easy to come off here. Yeah. Boom, right there. Let's see, we have another one I think down here at the bottom. Let's see if we can get that one off. We can get that one off there. Come on, come on, come on, there we go. All right, I think that's the only two. All right, let's go ahead and slide this off here. Let's wait for it. Try it again. There we go. <laughs> All right, let's see what we get inside the box here. So I think the box looks like it opens up down from here. Looks like this little sleeve that you got to rip down, a little piece you got to rip. Peels off like that. All right, let's open it up. There we go. Let's see what we have inside here. So first thing they show off here is the controller. Pretty cool. And it's a new, you know, it's a new controller too with a voice voice search on it as well. All right, let's see. Oh. Lots of orange in here. Let's bring this out here. Right, looks like we have, here's the Fire TV itself. Looks like we have a couple of things inside the box. A couple of AA Amazon batteries for the controller. And then looks like we have a 32 gigabyte micro SD card they've included with it, which is pretty cool. Now it comes built in with about eight gigabytes of storage inside of it but it does, um, does come up two gigabytes of RAM, does have a new, uh, I believe, new MediaTek Octagon processor inside of it. And it's come in uh, packed with some pretty cool features, 4K capable as well too, which is pretty nice. All right, this is a wall charger here. Let's go ahead and take the plastic off of this here and take a look. All right, it feels a little bit heavier than the previous one. I do have the previous one here to do a little comparison to. All right, so there's your Fire TV. Let's go ahead and peel this back part off here. Lots of plastic to peel off. Let's see if we can peel that off here on the back. Oh, there's a little piece for it. Whoop. Oh, comes all the way around. Okay. Let's see. And boom. There we go. All right. Throw that in there. And there is your Amazon Fire TV. See here on the back we have, uh, looks like we have the uh, power, HDMI, Ethernet port, that's for your, most likely where your micro SD card goes with this card slot. And then it has a USB port as well too. And that's pretty much it. There really isn't anything else on here with it. It doesn't come with a remote because it comes with the fire controller here instead, which we'll take a look at here too. Okay, let's take a look at this. Hello, tear along the packaging. Oh, there we go. Seems like they have a little slit for everything and I'm just like tearing all through this. All right, we got some more plastic to peel. Let's go ahead and peel this up. Ooh, whoops, there we go. More plastic to peel off. Lots of plastic. <laughs> All right, let's see here. Got a couple more sleeves here on the back, it looks like. One, and two, there we go. All right, so this is a controller. Actually feels a little bit lighter and a little more comfortable in the hand so far than from the previous version. So let's take a look, do a quick comparison here from this year's to last year's, which I have here. So let's take a look at both of the Amazon Fire TVs. You can really can't even tell them apart too much until you look here on the back. So when you look on the back here, I have the new one at the top and the old one at the bottom. You can see it's pretty much laid out the same way, but what's missing here is you don't have an optical audio port anymore in the new one as the old one had that, so that's something to keep aware of. But you do get a micro SD card slot to add additional storage on the new one. So that's something to definitely uh, sort of think about if you're just thinking of uh, upgrading. But other than that, same size, same as before. Actually, this, the weight's about the same. I thought they were a little bit different. You can see, kind of tandem, you can really, like I said, you can't tell them apart really in any other way. All right. Until you look around the back there. Okay, let's take a look at the two controllers as well too. Now previously they didn't have a bundle for this one. This one actually had, you have to buy the controller separate, which you can see here. It's a little bit shinier on the new one. 
which I actually like. It's a little bit lighter. You can see as far as the battery, I don't have the batteries in this yet, obviously, but you can see here on the back, uh, there was like a little bit of a battery hump on the old controller. And on the new one, it looks like there isn't that case. It's all kind of smooth in the back and has the plastic in front of it. And you have the voice control, uh, voice command button right there in, this, in the center, which is pretty cool. And you can get a little bit of color on the buttons, it looks like as well too. But that's uh, pretty much a quick comparison between uh, the two of them here. So let's uh, go ahead and pretty much get everything set up and let's take a look at what the new Fire TV Gaming Edition is gonna give us. All right, so let's take a look at the new Amazon Fire TV. So um, first things first, when I first plugged this in, it did install some updates, looks like, kind of automatically. I'm not sure if it had my account stuff saved prior to this and it just kind of jumped in, but let's go ahead and connect the, the controller here just by pressing A to start. We can choose our language. We're gonna choose English and the good old USA. It's gonna start scanning for some networks here. All right, let's go ahead and connect to our network here and um, We'll jump into that real quick and we'll see what comes after. Okay, so now it looks like it's downloading updates. Uh, I guess it was installing software when you, when you first turned it on. I connected to the network and it looks like it's grabbing some updates immediately. So rest assured, if you know that when you plug this in for the first time, most likely you're gonna have to download some updates. So we'll low, let it go ahead and do this process and uh, we'll get back to you when it's completed. All right, after a lengthy amount of updates and a little bit of an intro video that they do to kind of introduce you to the Fire TV, you do finally get to the TV here itself. Just keep in mind that it's probably gonna be about 10 to 20 minutes or so that you're gonna need to download and install updates before you finally get to the screen here for the main experience. So here at this part, this is where you can choose if you wanna enable parent parental controls or not. We're not gonna do that here. All right, Amazon Alexa is now on Fire TV. You can make a request. As you can see there, you hit got it. And here we are. We are in the new Fire TV. The menu pretty much looks very similar to prior ones here. Let's see if we can download some games. Oh, let's download that. Let's download some DuckTales here. All right, press and hold, all right. The Avengers. There we go. Brings it right up. Gives us all Avengers stuff. Star Trek. Yep, that's what we want to see. Cool. Brings everything right up there for you. I think this is only Amazon searchable, though I don't think it searches the other applications. If I remember correctly. Uh, let's try some other stuff here. Let's see. What's the current weather like? Thank you, Alexa. <laughs> uh, let's see. What's today's top headlines? I don't know if I answered that one. Uh, okay. All right. No worries there. All right. We're finally into some game here. Getting a little bit of DuckTales, a little platform gaming. Just a remastered version of the game, which I remember as a kid was a really popular game and one of the better games uh, coming from Disney. All right, eats the hamburger and boink. <laughs> All right, there we go. So that's a little bit of gaming to go along with this. We'll go ahead and hit home. So, right. so far, I think it's uh, pretty cool. I like some of the updates. It seems like um, it's taxing a little bit now because I'm like, I'm downloading a bunch of stuff. So there's a little bit of delay here and there and be going between things. But the gaming aspects seem pretty cool. The controls seem pretty comfortable. But obviously, we're gonna have to put this for the full test, which we will do and definitely give a review of it. So if you guys have any questions, comments, concerns, post them below, let me know what you think. Also be sure to subscribe to our YouTube page, follow us on Twitter and connect with us on all our social networks. The links to those are in the description. And always remember to live your tech world in high definition. Thanks for watching.